Turning to the exterior, our judges were still divided, but overall much kinder in their opinions. Most enjoyed the sporty and aggressive styling that takes the typical family hauler SUV to a level that can be appreciated by nearly anyone. Judges were divided on the LED light bar embedded in the grille, along with the large Raptor-esque Toyota splayed across the grille. The one-quarter inch aluminum skid plate with bold, red TRD lettering is a nice touch that is unfortunately hidden behind the large and low front bumper. The 2024 Sequoia TRD Pro's rugged aluminum side steps and forged aluminum wheels were universally appreciated. The new 2024 model would perform admirably well on the highway. Our judges loved the power that potent iForce Max engine put down, and many noted that the transmission shifted quickly and smoothly, always putting itself in the correct gear to keep the drivetrain in the heart of the engine's power band. We found the steering to be tight without being overly heavy and the braking to have a nice firm feel. The 2024 Sequoia TRD Pro's Fox dampers give a firm ride on the highway, easily soaking up all the undulations and pavement brakes with relative ease. Ultimately, our judges' opinions and scoring were shaped by Toyota's decision to price and option the 2024 Sequoia TRD Pro on the premium end of its scale. The reception would have been better. But, alas, we all understand that this level of advanced off-road hardware doesn't come cheap anymore. The interior of the 2024 Sequoia TRD Pro despite its impressive 14-inch multimedia touchscreen and 14-speaker JBL audio system that sounded good, remnants of old-school Toyota chunky knobs, switches, and vents remain. For better or worse, those who love Toyotas will still love this one dot the soft text-trimmed seats with technical camel pattern inserts. Three final zingers, there's no remote start, there's no USB-C data port in the front, only USB-A, and there's no available head-up display, it's not even an option on the TRD Pro. The 2024 Sequoia TRD Pro does, however, have Toyota's excellent panoramic view monitor PVM, system, through which multiple cameras give various viewpoints, including an awesome 360-degree view. There's a great deal of definition and detail, you can clearly see how you're aligned in a parking spot in contrast to other systems that are blurry and basically useless. Toyota makes a powerful argument for replacing the outgoing Sequoia's V8 with a twin-turbo hybrid V6, a 437-horsepower 583LBF T argument. The 3.4-liter six-cylinder is paired with an electric motor that contributes 48 horsepower and 184 LBFT of torque and a 10-speed automatic that performs smoothly, except for a consistent shift lurch between park and drive that reminded us to always buckle up and hold on. It can tow slightly over 9,000 pounds, and it has a gross vehicle weight rating of 7,585 pounds, adequate enough to tow a modest travel trailer. The iForce Max is rated at 19-22-20 mpg, city-slash-highway-slash-combined. During a 700-mile, predominantly highway road trip, we averaged 17 to 19 miles per gallon, which met our expectations and is light years better than the V8 but it's not appreciably better than the competition in the MPG department. Its itty-bitty 22.5-gallon gas tank was also an issue, and fill-ups were frequent during our trip. The Tundra TRD Pro has a 32.5-gallon tank, accommodated by its nearly 2-foot longer wheelbase. We could do without the fake engine noise pumped into the interior through the speakers, as the engine's very faint, very occasional turbo whistle, all its twin-turbo V6 competitors do this, and other natural noises were more than enough for us.